hey guys welcome back so in previous video we have covered uh, content fragment model using basic data types in this video we will cover the json object data type so what we will do we'll just create a new content fragment model so i'll just click on create i will say uh, maybe profile info click on create let's open it and uh, i'm going to drag and drop json object let's give it some name so my data and let's save it i have created it now let's create content fragment using this content fragment model so i will go to assets files let's create a new folder i will say endless cf demo let's create this folder and if i go inside this and i try to create any content fragment basically i will not find any content fragment because the reason is i have already explained in one of the previous video we have to first define the con cloud configurations for this folder so i'll just select this folder i'll go to properties i'll go to cloud services here i will specify my configuration which is headless config and we have created this configuration in in previous videos so just select it save it now if we go inside again in the same folder this time we should find our content fragment models and in this one we will uh, use this uh, content fragment model profile info in which we have used the json object click on next and maybe this is my profile let's create it let's open it and here i should see this json object so let's use the very basic json in which i will say my name or maybe i will i will write it as first name then last name <coughs> and we here we have something very unique which is preview and if i click on this i should see basically a json the same json which i can use as a headless uh, one and if i click on this voila what is what it says it says cannot print fragment json because the graph ql endpoint is not defined and this makes sense because i have not created any graph ql endpoint um, so what i should do i'll just go to just go to my main page localhost colon 4502 and here first i will define the the endpoint the graphql endpoint so here i will see the graphql and i will create a new endpoint so this is my um headless cf demo and point and this i want to enable it for headless config this is my configuration i created so just remember i mean how do we create a new endpoint for graphql api let's create it and it's done let's go back and i'll just refresh it so here is my information i just want to see this yeah and it is working now and uh this is the one my data so i created this a uh, content fragment model with this name my data and the information which i saved in the json object is coming under this object so if we see this unique feature um, any time we want to pass any additional information from my content fragment model as a json object whatever is the json object um, uh, uh, data type name which will come as a parent and all the information come will come inside it so this is how we can use the json object uh, data type thank you so much for watching and uh, stay connected